Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and slowly and step by step how to make these beautiful beaded bee earrings. I provide also a free pattern that you will see in a while that we are gonna be using in the tutorial. If you're new here consider subscribing uh, for more similar absolutely free content. You might also like share and comment, this helps me a lot. I can't thank you enough for these actions. Check my Facebook page because there I share patterns of what we do here and there you could send me pictures of your creations that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check also in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of Delica beads, white, yellow and black. Here I'm using earring findings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is a free pattern that I provide and we'll work with it in the video together. Uh, this is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 or even size 10, but it will be easier if you use smaller needle. These are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and now we are going to work with this pattern. I will work with brick stitch, which means I will hold it in this direction. If you want to work with peyote stitch, you should hold it in this direction. Okay, now we are going to start with this first row, which consists of five white beads. Okay, and uh, first I'm going to take two seed beads, two white beads. I'm sliding those down and I will go through the second one here. And when I pull, this is uh, what I have, they arrange next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction. Then I'm going in the next bead. Then I take one more seed bead. And I go like this backwards through this previous bead. And I have three of them arranged next to each other. Take one more. Again backwards and this is the last fifth beat. And I go again like this, like in the previous steps and through this one. Okay guys, but now I'm not satisfied how these beads sit. That is why I will go and reinforce them. Okay, now I think it's better. Only the first row is this way, the next are different. Okay, now I will consult with my pattern again and in the next row I have six white beads. And as I said, I will work with the brick stitch. I take two white beads and because in each, uh, in the next row I have one bit more than in the previous, it is called increasing brick stitch. That is why when I increase, I take two and I go through the first thread bridge here. You see between my beads, I have thread bridges and I'm going under the first one of them.
then what I want to do is go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Then I'm going to take one more seed bead. I'm going here in under the next thread bridge and backwards through this bead. This is the fifth bead from this row. And according to my pattern, I need six. And because here I'm out of thread bridges, I'll, I will use the last one, the same bead that I've been through with the previous fifth white delica and now with the sixth one i'm going under it again and then through the bead one more time now i have the next row then i'm going to consult with my pattern again and in the next row i have seven white beads okay guys and now because as i said i increase i need two beads and I'm going under the first thread bridge that I have here. And then through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Then what I'm going to do is add five more white beads. Mm -hmm. the seventh bead and again I add it at the same thread bridge here where I added the sixth one okay now this is what I have and I'm consulting with my pattern again and you see here in the next row I still have seven beads but from one side I decrease and from the other I increase that is why I'm going to start with two whites again but this time because as you see from this side I decrease I will go under the second thread bridge here you see I'm not going here through the first one like I did before but I'm going through the second one I pull and in this case guys after I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work I want to do an additional reinforcement because my beads as they go at the second thread bridge they stretch and they don't sit well and I need a new thread pad to make them sit nice and tight next to each other and here it is one by one I'm going to add five more white beads <laughs>
and from this side because according to my pattern I increase with one bead it means that this bead is sticking out of my of compared to the previous row that is why I'm going under the last thread bridge here and I'm adding it okay then I'm going to take again my work okay you see so now I did this fourth row and what I need is to do the next row which is the fifth one it is again from seven beads but from this time from this side I increase and from this side I decrease I'm starting with two beads again and because from this side as I said I decrease I go under the second thread bridge not at the first like I did before when I was increasing then it is the same thing because I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work and then because they stretch and don't sit well I should reinforce them now add here five more white beads I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you at this point okay guys and now I'm going through this last seventh bead here okay and now I will consult with my pattern after I did five rows this is the sixth one and it consists of six beads and is decreasing from both sides that is why I will take two seed beads and I'm going under the second thread bridge because as I said it is a decreasing row now I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work and I go back and then again one more time through this bit and I have this now I'm going to add four more white beads here in this direction of camera and I'll be back okay guys and I just added the last sixth bead from this row and now I will consult again with my pattern okay I just did this row here and now I will do this row it consists of five white beads yellow black two yellows black and two yellows okay again it is increasing from this side that is why I start with two white beads And as I said, since it is increasing, I go under the first thread bridge that I have here. And I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. No need of reinforcement because the beads don't stretch. Then again, I will consult with my pattern okay here I have four white beads a yellow and a black okay and I will add these four whites yellow and black off camera and I'll, I'll be back okay guys and you see where I am here uh, in fact I should have said I should add three more whites yellow and black because I here I have two whites in the beginning and there are five whites in total one yellow and one black and the black one guys I'm adding it here at the last step and at the last thread bridge that I have and I'm going to pull just like this now what I'm going to do next is consult with my pattern again okay I just added this yellow and this black 
the standard way that I was showing you here. And now I need two yellows, one black and two yellows. Okay, I take a yellow. And I go backwards. through the black one okay and I arrange them the same way like I did in the first row Then I take another yellow and I have this. Probably it will be easier for, for me if I turn it in this direction just for a while, while I'm adding them. Okay, now guys, I'm not satisfied again how this row stays, so I'm going to make a reinforcement. Now in the same way I want to reach this part here. Now in the same way I want to reach this part here. Okay, now I have this. You see I just did this row. And now I'm going to start my next row, which consists of four white beads, two yellow beads, a black, two yellows, a black and two yellows. Okay, and how I started, I take two white beads. And because this row is decreasing, as you may see, this one goes to the inner side, so it is decreasing. As I take those two beads, I'm going under the second thread bridge. Then I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work. And I also reinforce because I want to make my beads stay nice and tight, like good bricks that they are. Okay, now what we could do is pause on this pattern and do this row. And here I need to add, I have the first two white beads here and I need to add two whites, two yellows, black, two yellows, black and two yellows. Okay, I'll do this off camera because you, you already know how to add the beads one by one. Just pause, do this and meet me here at this side. Okay guys, and as I continue, as I told you, I finished this row. This is here, uh, this row, in fact. And now I need to make this row. And it consists of two yellows, one black, two yellows, one black, two yellows, one black, three whites and three blacks. Okay, 
I will add them up to this black, all of them. Now it is an increasing row. That is why I'm going to show you just the first two steps and then you will continue by yourself until this black. Okay, so let me show you the first two. Okay, and I take the first two yellows here and I go under the first thread bridge because as I said, I increase Then I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work, just like this. And then I follow the pattern up to this black one, okay? A black, two yellows, a black, two yellows, a black, three whites and one black. And I'm sure you know how to do them, how to add them. If you want, pause on this video uh, and watching from here, do this and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and I added this sequence and I hope you did too. If not, pause on this frame and do the sequence. Okay. Then what I want to do is take this pattern again and I want to add this next two black beads, this one and this one. And because they are sticking out, I'm adding them like this. And like this. Now guys, I will consult with my pattern. I need to start the next row. Don't count this. This is from the antenna. Uh, now we'll start from here. Four blacks, two whites and continue. Okay, now I'm going to take two blacks and show you the first row which is increasing. Okay, the first step is to take two. And because it is increasing, I'm going here under the first thread bridge and backwards through the one that is closer to the center of my work. Now I have this. Then as I said I need four black beads in total. I just added two and one by one I will add two more. Okay, this one this one Okay, and now I will consult with my pattern. Okay, I just added these four black beads. As you may see, uh, here I added these four, which are these four black beads. And then I need two whites, a yellow, black, two yellows, black, two yellows, black, two yellows. Okay, and I'll do this off camera, pause on this frame and do this as well and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just did this row as I told you. If you haven't done this, pause on this video and do this. Now it's the time. Then I'm consulting with my pattern for the next row. And it starts with, I'm here, you see. And I start with two yellows, two blacks, one yellow, two blacks, one yellow, two blacks, one yellow, one white, one, two, three, four, five, black beads okay and I'll do this off camera and it is increasing so, so I start with two yellows and the first thread bridge then just pause and follow the pattern until the end and when I'm here I'll be back okay guys and I'm here and as I said I'm just adding my last fifth black bead from the head 
of my B. And now what I want to do at this step, if you haven't done this, just pause and add the beads in this sequence. Okay, now what I need to do is go diagonally like this through these two black beads. And here, what I need to take are three black beads. I slide those down, skip two of them, and go in the third one. You see? And go through three, I mean. Okay. And the antenna is added now. And what I need to do next is go here in this black one. Okay, and now where I am, I just did this largest row here that finishes here. And now I'm going to do the next row. Don't watch this bit because this is from the antenna. And start from here. You need four uh, black beads. And it is a decreasing brick stitch because it goes uh, to the inner side. As I said, it starts from here. So um, if it is uh, decreasing, you should take first two and go under the second thread bridge that you have here. And you add them. And you need to reinforce them after that going first through the bit that is closer to the center then through the one that is next to it and backwards through this one okay and you pull tight and push them to your work okay now i have these two first bits which are this and this one and then i will continue two blacks two whites yellow black two yellows black two yellows black and two yellows and i'll be back okay guys and as i finish this row this is what i have and this is this row that i just did now i'm going to start this row from here and I started with two yellows, a black, two yellows, a black, two yellows, a black, three whites and three blacks. Okay, I'll do this row off camera and it is decreasing. So I start with two through the second thread bridge and train force. And then I continue one by one. So I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I just this, did this row. And what I want to do next is attach my earring finding. And how I do this, I want to go diagonally through some beads in this direction. You see I'm going through two diagonally. Then I go through the following here. So through three diagonally in total in this direction, this, this and this. And then I want to exit through this bit that is sticking out the most. Then I take a black, my earring finding and a black. And I go backwards through this black one. Okay, now I have this and I want to reinforce and after I reinforce I go again through this one that is sticking out the most and diagonally through the following one. Okay, and here I am in the same place where I added this antenna from this side I need three black beads and I'm going to slide those down then I skip one and go through the next and also through the following black 
okay and I have this antenna attached as well here now what I want to do is start my next row how I do this I will consult with my pattern here is my pattern and I, next row starts from here so it starts from here so I need to exit from this third black bead and I just need to reposition my thread I'm going here through this bead and then through the third black from here okay this third black and now I will start a decreasing row with two white beads why is it decreasing it is decreasing compared to this black bead so it goes to the inner side so it means it is decreasing and I'm taking two white beads and because I decrease I don't go here through the first thread bridge but I go through the second thread bridge after the bead that I'm exiting out of okay and if you remember when it is a decreasing one I need to reinforce my beads by going one more time through them I have this done like my in my pattern okay here I just added these two white beads from my pattern these two and I need to add two whites two yellows a black two yellows a black and two yellows okay I'll do this off camera adding the beads from here to here and I'll be back okay guys and I just did this row here this one and now I'm going to start the next row which is decreasing so I start with two yellows the second thread bridge reinforcement with these two then black two yellows black yellow one two three four five whites and when I'm ready with this row I'll be back okay guys and I finished this row and now let me consult with my pattern I just I am here and I need to do a decreasing row with six white beads I started with two whites second thread bridge reinforce and then add four more whites okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay guys and I just did this row now I am here at my pattern and now I need to do this row here which consists of seven beads and it is increasing so as I start from here because it is increasing row I start with two white beads and I go under the first thread bridge this time and then at the last thread bridge I add two beads first one and then one after that in this way I have seven beads here and I'm sure that if you have done everything up to here you will be able to make not only this row but the ones that follow after that okay so I'll pause on this video and do all of those rows that remain until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and as I continued following my pattern this is what I have my B is ready and how I finish it I could make a small knot here or I could just go zigzagging through my work with my thread and when I zigzag enough times I take my scissors and I cut as close as possible to my work and now I think it's safe to cut this tail thread as well because if you remember I reinforced this last row 
with the main thread as well in the beginning so it is safe to cut it and now as you may see my bee earring is ready okay guys and now my beaded bees earrings with brick stitch and delicate beads are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't in this way you will be inspired often thank to all of you that like share and comment my content i thank, can't thank you enough guys for this action check my facebook page because there i usually share the patterns that i used to make these designs and you will see it, the, it there one or two days after I make the tutorial. And you could also share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page. Check description for full list of materials. Also links to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check as I said in the link in description or at the join button. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.